Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So recently Google have released this stable version of Android 15. Along with that, nothing also released nothing OS 3.0 beta 1. And we all know nothing OS is very close to stock Android. And in this video, we'll compare stock Android 15 with that of nothing OS 3.0 based on Android 15. And we'll see which brand did better. You guys drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have two phones towards the left hand side. This is my Pixel 7a which is running on stable version of Android 15. Towards the right hand side we have Nothing Phone 2a which is running on beta build of Nothing OS 3.0. And both of them are running on their latest build. We'll try to cover every new add-on what they have done on their particular devices including features and UI. But before moving ahead if you guys find our content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. And guys another thing Nothing is about to release Nothing OS 3.0 beta 2 builds which will be rolling out next month. But but here you need to remember if you want to try out nothing os 3.0 beta 2 make sure you install nothing os 3.0 beta 1 before updating your device to nothing os beta 2 now first let's start with the lock screen so here both the devices or you can say os have got the lock screen customization options if you long press on the lock screen you can see customize the lock screen option pops up so soon you unlock your device on stock android you can see it takes you to the wallpaper and style section but good thing which I liked here on Nothing OS is it doesn't take you to wallpaper and style section. You can make changes directly on the lock screen. It doesn't matter. You have to change the clock styles or the widgets. And there's no option to add widgets on stock Android. But one upper hand what stock Android has and that's it has more clock style options. Unlike Nothing OS where we only get five clock styles. And another advantage on stock Android is that you can customize the clock and the size, for example, colors and other stuff, which is currently not present here on Nothing OS 3.0. I hope they do give us the option to change colors and the size of the clock style. Nothing has an added advantage which lets you add widgets on the lock screen. And you also get options like expanded widget area. Soon you enable this, but you won't be able to make changes in the clock styles after that. But you can add multiple widgets here. If I delete all the widgets and show you guys, we do have options to add total 16 widgets i mean the smaller one if you choose the bigger one you can only add four widgets so in the comment section you guys let me know which device has better locks and customization and which one you guys prefer and directly on the locks in itself if you tap on the wallpaper you see a pop-up menu which brings up the wallpaper present in your gallery instead of going inside the wallpapers and style section every time and if you take a look at the keypad i personally feel the keypad present on stock android looks better compared to nothing os 3.0 Let's not compare the widgets what we can add on nothing OS because this is something which they have implemented from the day one. Wherein stock Android doesn't have these options and it remains neat. But the major change which I always wanted Google to do and that's led to the notification or quick setting tiles. See here on this device I'm using the lighter theme I mean on my Pixel 7a but still the notification panel or you can say control center appears in the dark theme which I personally don't like. We had the same story on Nothing OS also but with Nothing OS 3.0 they did make changes and now they have also moved the brightness slider towards the bottom side which is also thicker in size and it's very easy to access when you pull down the control center. But that's not the case on Android 15, it still remains same wherein the brightness slider is on the top side and it's very hard to reach the brightness slider with a single hand. Another change what I liked on Nothing OS and that's the ability to customize the control center where you have options even to customize or you can say make changes in the size of the quick setting tiles but Android 15 is still lacking behind and I would say since Android 14 they haven't made any kind of changes in the quick setting tiles. Here I would appreciate nothing. You can move around quick setting tiles easily and also have the option to reset size after that they have also segregated the widget section pretty well so if you go to widget section on stock android and nothing os you can see they have bought a different layout for all the nothing widgets present but here even android 15 they did bring some new changes like you have some suggestions like essentials social and even entertainment also they have made some changes now you can see all the widgets are present side by side instead of like how they used to appear before on android 14 but these things still lacks on nothing os 3.0 if you take a look at the customization section i feel here also nothing I've done pretty well because you have the option to see both the previews just by a slight slide here you need to tap on the lock screen option then tapping on the main preview to make changes but here it's easily accessible just with a single tap and now talking about the changes what they have done in the recent page so here I would say nothing would have added the option to combine the split screen applications which Google have done so here you can see these are the two applications which have combined in the recent page I just have to tap on the icon we have an option to save those two applications as a pair and that thing will appear on the home screen so I've saved it you can see an app icon stating which two applications have been paired that's still not available on nothing OS. Hopefully they add it in the future updates. And now by default, both the OS have the predictive gesture enabled. 
I also like that nothing have added the support of partial screen recording. So if you are doing any screen recording, you can select a single app instead of entire screen. On both the OS, we do get to see the suggested applications, but here on nothing OS, we don't have an option to remove those applications from the suggestions. But here, if you see on stock Android, we do have an option using which you can remove those applications from the suggestion list. Just tapping on this icon and that application will be replaced with a different one. That's not the story here. But nothing have done a different change here in the app drawer which lets you pin the applications on the top side. So for example, if I use this application, which is towards the bottom side, which is WhatsApp, if I use it most, I can just tap on this icon and pin the application on the top side. So I don't have to entirely scroll down to have access of this application. This option is not present on stock Android. And another new add-on, like it's good to see that nothing have given an option to use different app drawer layout. Recently, they introduced this smart layout, which automatically categorizes the applications using AI and place them in different sections. Some similar like iOS. I wouldn't have liked it if nothing would have completely replaced it but yes they have given the option to use this stock and if you're interested you can also use the smarter one. When it's related to privacy so stock Android have given an option to create a private space and once you create a private space that will be displayed here in the app drawer which lets you add a different account or if you want you can also use the same account but I would say avoid using same account. So the private space feature I'm expecting on nothing OS 3.0 with the upcoming builds. Another change on stock Android is layer to volume panel or you can say the media controls but here nothing haven't changed anything in that i hope that also gets changed with the upcoming updates and another privacy related change what even nothing have added which we have seen on stock android 15 so whenever you make any changes in the screen timeout for example if i extend the screen timeout to 30 minutes it will ask for an authentication and the same thing goes here on stock android also and it's not only related to screen timeout if you change the usb preferences also the device will ask for the authentication it will be really great if nothing adds in webcam feature on nothing os 3.0 with the upcoming updates which we have seen on stock android 15 that can help you get quality output on video calls avoiding those low resolution cameras available on laptops nothing have also added this app archive feature similar to android 15 so here basically this lets you save some extra space it deletes the application avoiding deletion of data and whenever you archive any application this is how it will look in the app drawer and with a single click you can download the entire application without affecting your data. Similar changes are done in the storage section but here nothing have added a new option called smart cleanup. If a device has any kind of issues that will be displayed here. This option is not available other than that we do have the access to file manager and towards the bottom side now two options under system which is android 15 and temporary system files. Nothing always is consuming more storage when it comes to system and temporary system files. And it's not like google have only introduced this feature called theft protection. The same thing have also been added on nothing os 3.0 with these similar options like theft detection lock offline device lock remote lock and the last one find and erase your device and using this you do have an option to save your device or data from losing it but one feature which is missing on nothing os and that's the option to automatically turn on bluetooth tomorrow which was recently added on stock android under network preferences both the os do have this option of allow wep network which is a older security protocol if you want you can keep it enabled or you can disable it under network details we also have this option which lets you disable send device name under Wi-Fi. So if this thing is disabled, you won't be able to share your device name with the network you are connected. Under sounds and vibration, I hope even nothing adds this feature called adaptive vibration, which will help us avoid worrying much about the vibration strength of multiple notifications which we get back to back using the environmental conditions and the sensors present on your device. Another feature which I'm expecting on upcoming builds on nothing OS 3.0 and that's this repair mode. And it can be very useful while giving your device to the service center for any kind of repairs. The engineers won't be able to access your personal data they'll only have the required access to repair the device and the last ui change which i feel google needs to do and that's in the settings page they do have this outdated setting page and i like the way nothing have organized the setting page with different sections related to connectivity customizations and other stuff i hope even google make changes and one thing which nothing can add and that's the option to add the google profile option here directly on the right top corner so guys these are some of the similarities and changes between stock and Android and nothing OS 3.0 based on Android 15. According to you guys, what do you have to say? Who did better with Android 15? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.